okay in the last class we have discussed about a little bit optics okay everyone understood that thing everyone understood optics a little bit okay today we will start motion okay okay what do you mean by motion motion kya hota hai is there any idea tell me motion means movement 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 of what object anything yeah that is movement of object with respect to time okay time ke respect me jo movement ho raha hai usko motion bolta hai in physics change with uh, time of a position or or uh, uh, orientation of a body is known as motion okay orientation means any idea yes sir orientation means direction direction okay if a object is changing its direction or is changing its position with respect to time i mean according to time okay suppose at 12 am the car is in delhi and uh, about 2 pm the car is in chandigarh okay that is the motion or it can be for small time okay see there is three type of motion mainly we will discuss here rectilinear motion circular motion and periodic motion Okay. Do you have any idea what is rectilinear motion? Any idea? Straight line. Yes. Motion in straight lines. Yeah. Motion of a object in a straight line path is called rectilinear motion. It is written over here. For example, motion of a train on track motion of the ant in a straight path motion of freely falling stone from the top of a building towards the ground all these are all these are example of can you give one more example light sir light Yeah, you can be considered. Hello, Chadak. Mute your mic. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, understood. What is rectilinear? Second one is circular motion. Okay, what is circular motion? Motion of a uh, of object in a circular path is called circular motion. That means round, round like this. Okay. Do you have any example? Tire topic car. Sorry. Tires of the vehicle. Tires of a vehicle. Uh, okay, the wheels. You can say it like that. No, the wheels. Okay. Then periodic motion. All of you, I think, got 
all this in class 7 or 8 I think. What is periodic motion? When an object is moving, okay, when a uh, when an object is moving with a uh, uh, in a particular time, same distance in a particular time, okay, motion of an object which repeats itself after a certain period of time is called periodic motion. That means a certain amount of uh, sorry, certain time the movement will repeat, okay, like pendulum, pendulum of a watch, have you seen or not? Have you seen pendulum? Okay. Here is some examples. Okay, here is some examples. See, this is the periodic motion. Okay, uh, motion of the earth around the sun is periodic as well as circular as it repeats its motion after time of 365 days. Is not it? Excel ke baat hi thanda aata hai, kini? Winters come back after one year, right? Okay. There is some uh, see. There is some examples of this uh, motions. Rectilinear, circular, rotational, periodic. Understood? Should I repeat? See, in rectilinear, march pass by shoulders in a straight line. Okay. Oh, what is it? 26 January ko March pass they maintain a straight line right motion of falling object from certain height from a height if you drop a stone okay simply drop a stone it will go like in a straight path that is the rectilinear motion or linear motion you can conclude same thing huh? rectilinear and linear is the same then circular a motion of uh, uh, satellite around the plants satellite means uh, what is the meaning of satellite oh, yeah. What is the revolve around the planet, sir? Yeah, yeah. There is artificial satellite and natural. Natural also. Okay. Circular path, rot uh, rotational, uh, motion of wheel. Okay. Then periodic, motion of simple pendulum. Pendulum you have seen, no? Uh, in the clocks there is a uh, bob like bob which is uh, to and fro motion which does to and fro motion seen no yes sir sir yes 
tell me yes tell me what is the issue Excuse me, sir. Yes. What is the difference between circular and rotational sensor? Circular and rotational is almost the same thing. That's why I have not uh, I, you I have not given the definition. Circular rotational almost same thing. scalar quantity moving to the next topic okay scalar quantity uh, the quantity the quantity which has only magnitude are known as are known as scalar quantity that, that means there is two type of quantity like one is vector one is uh, scalar okay uh, those quantity which has only magnitude suppose weight like we measured uh, potatoes tomatoes like one kg right we never so see the direction that means there is no direction of weight okay that is that kind of quantities are scalar quantity vector quantity quantity which has magnitude and direction are also known as direction known as vector quantity those quantity which has magnitude and direction are known as vector quantity that means see i have met some uh, made a list you can see here the you know, the quantities like displacement etc etc are in the vector and scalar are in this line done okay next we will yes, sir. yes next we will explain some quantities like we will explain some quantities like speed what is happening why there is i can't write Okay, what is speed? Sir. 
yes change for time sorry distance for time distance for time yes sir <coughs> The distance short. It is the it is the distance covered in time. in total time given by an object understood what will be the formula for this as equal to distance by time s stands for speed d stands for distance t stands for time Okay, what will be the SI unit? SI unit I told you in uh, units and measurement, no? Meter per second, sir. Yeah, SI unit will be S, uh, SI unit will be meter per second okay okay i'm giving a question now a car moves from point a point a point a to point b Measuring distance of fifty kilometer calculate the speed. Tell me ten kilometer per hour, sir. 
okay answer will be speed equal to Okay, next question. then find the distance Tell me the answer. Kilometers, sir. Sorry? Twelve kilometers. No, 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 no. See, one hour in one hour, uh, the car moved hundred and ten kilometers in only one hour. Think in nine hour, how much they will travel? Ninety. Sorry. Nine hundred ninety. Yeah. Correct. Nine hundred ninety kilometer. Unit will be kilometer. Okay.
do this. Kilometer. Sorry. Twenty kilometers per hour. Twenty. Ninety sir. Ninety kilometer per hour. What is? Ninety kilometer per hour or what? Yes sir. No no wrong. Oh. Thirty kilometer, sir. Thirty kilometer per hour, sir. Thirty, sir. Okay, why you are doing mistakes? Oh, sir, you wrote one hour before that. No, I have written three right here. See, you can see here. Can you see? Ella is driving her car. Okay, do this one. Okay, who is the CR here? Kindly send me the attendance, okay? Okay, sir. Okay, do this one. See, uh, sir, 20, 20 hours. Okay, 20. very good. Very good. Uh, I think everyone can do this type of sums, right? Right? Yes, sir. They never talk to me, etc. We see Manisha Kumari, etc. etc. They are just here to uh, give the attendance or what? The students should participate here. Generally, I will get to know what is the problem, what is the issue with them. Is, is their understanding or not? They are just here to uh, show the attendance, to give the attendance. Parmita Dev Barma, Manisha Kumari. I never heard 
you from anything. Sir, we will divide here in two. Sorry? Sorry, uh, how can we, uh, how can we, uh, uh, if you want to how can we get answer, how, how can we get answer? Uh, oh. We will uh, do, divide your minus in two, ma'am, ah, sir. In two means, which, which no, question? No. तुमको अगर हिंदी में हिंदी आता है तो हिंदी कौन सा है? सर सर लास्ट पार्ट लास्ट पार्ट लास्ट पार्ट लास्ट लास्ट पार्ट ये सीला हिस ड्राइविंग हर कार इन फोर्टी फाइव किलोमीटर ओके सी आई एम टेलिंग यू 45 km per hour, what is this? Speed, right? Yes. Speed is given 45. Yes. Next, what is given? Distance. Distance. Okay, we have got the, we know the, right, we know this formula, you, you, you know it or not? Yes, sir. Hello, Chadak. Yes, yes, sir. Do you know this? This Which formula. One? This formula. This formula. Speed equal to distance by time. I have I already uh, taught you. Here, oh. see. Yeah. See, yes, this sir. one. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Speed equal to distance by time. Now do one thing. Put accordingly, speed is given 45, right here 55, in the place of speed, right 45 equal to, uh, distance is given 900, 900, then divided by time, time is not given and we have to find the time, next step, what will be the next step, 45 into 45 into time 45. equal to 900. No. Next step, time equal to the 45 will move in the right side of the equal sign. In the left side of the equal sign, it is in multiply. No. So in the right side of the uh, uh, right side of the equal sign, it will be divide. Divide. Okay. If you divide this, you will get 20. Oh, I got it, please, sir. You got it? Yes, 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 sir. Thank you. Sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, see you in the next class. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, welcome. Okay, CR will send me the attendance, okay? Yes, sir.